aggression and after that three straight goals for your team. What was the difference that you saw? Uh, aggression, desire, passion, heart uh, was missing the first half. And, um, you know, they had two shots, two goals, and um, completely unacceptable. And uh, they found a way the second half, and I'm, I'm proud of them for that in representing our team and what we're capable of doing in, the, in a better light the second period. And then going off on that, we talked about how this is a young team. What does it say about their ability to bounce back? Well, I, I mean, it just says it's heart and desire and uh, going for it and aggression um, and just playing hockey, what you've been doing since you've been a little girl. And uh, they found a way to get it done, and um, I'm really happy that they did that. And then in that first half, Syracuse wasn't able to capitalize on the penalty corner, but in the second, mm -hmm. two penalty corner goals. Do you see something specifically different on that unit? Well, there were just a lot of skill errors, whether the the inserts were um, slightly off and it's such a precision play that if one thing's off, the next thing has to move and then the next thing has to move. So um, our inserts were off and then when we did get it on, our, our stick stop was off. So it was just bad connection and, um, you know, that's the consistency that we have to keep pushing for as a coaching staff uh, to get our athletes to have consistency and routine. Mm. Um, for the second half, you chose to put Emma in mm -hmm. goal. What was your reason behind that, and when did you decide to put her? Two shots, two goals. Um, That's simple. Um, then how it was, um, and then the two shots, two goals, and then in the second half, there was the one penalty corner that um, didn't go in. And how did the defense kind of transition? Uh, well, I think it was the pressure we put on the ball um, in the front and in the midfield. So um, we, we put their backs under higher pressure, and they had a more difficult time getting out of the backfield. So um, they had a people had to come back, so they had further distance to go to be able to score. You kept pushing uh, SJ, Carolyn, and Rose up the field. What else can you really do when the team is, you know, you're down two goals? What else can you really do? To, to create a, more chances? Well, you put a kicking back in, um, for sure, would be you pull your goalkeeper and you add an extra player, but... Um, Did you ever consider that? Not right now, it, not today. I didn't, and um, it's... We got to keep getting our system to work and be able to find a way. We had over 64% possession, and most of the time that we had the ball was... Uh, right in the center zone of the circle. And uh, there are things that we'll look at on video and just keep getting back to the drawing board. And it'll, it'll happen in time. How do you think Emma responded in the second half to being kind of put in there? I don't even know. I, I mean, she made the save, so I'd say she responded pretty well. And, um, you know, I just told her right before half, I said, get warmed up. and. Ben uh, came down and warmed her up at halftime. I didn't even see the warm up and went in and kept with her in overtime. And um, so it was good.